Well, hello there, YouTube, and welcome to Monday, the 14th of August. Me and the little woman are going to take a little buzz out to the coast. Go down to Oregon side, swing over to Long Beach, Washington, out from Astoria, and who knows? We'll just see where the Honda takes us. This is the first time the sun's come out today. It's been gloomy and gloomy. Thought it was going to rain all day today. It's like a 10% chance. Which around here, any percent chance is too much. All right, we're off on another road trip today. Stopping at the old petrol station to top off. Look on the old rat rod truck. There's a chicken on the top now. <laughs> the little woman and I are just taking a quick little break. We're, on the, we're actually in Astoria, but we're the outskirts of Astoria. A little Chevron station. Get some little knacker knackers and little potty breaks, that kind of thing. Yes, kind of <laughs> yeah, the coast is like right there. Yeah. We ain't far from it. So we're in Astoria in this little place called Tongue Point. There's no trespassing in here. But look at these old boats, isn't that cool? That first one's a wooden boat. That's amazingly yeah. cool. Look at all them ships out there. Holy moly. But this is the Columbia River Maritime Museum. There's some serious brass in that thing. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, that's quite cool. <laughs> hey, you got so tall. I don't know. There's the old Columbia. I think we've even taken you guys on an inside tour of that. That's one huge river, that Columbia. Kelly says, bye, cruel, cruel world. Oh, splash. <laughs> That's not a far enough fall to hurt you. You might be in trouble if you couldn't swim. This is a good look at the, at the facility. warm but basking in the sun <laughs> oh, look at the bridge out there that's so cool let me know if that light turns green look at that that's wicked cool you ever notice every time we come across the Astoria bridge they're doing some kind of construction on it this bridge was built by the same company that built the uh, Longview Rainier Bridge. This thing is very creepy and very, very, very high. And I always, always get stopped on it. And my little mind just goes a wandering. Hey, look at the bullet holes in the back of that truck. And that is not stickers. No. That is, honest to God, bullet holes. <laughs> so there's another view looking out there man that thing is wide that thing is enormous that river oh great a log truck oh my god <laughs> that is nuts that is literally like an earthquake yeah I mean you can see that truck and us moving separate of each other. Please don't let there be another log truck. That was like way uncool. Well, we finally started moving after about 10 minutes. Oh, that's all I need is to be able to look out and see over the edge. <laughs> the wrong side of the bridge. We're not even to the top of this thing. This is the top. Oh, 
it's it's too noisy. I'll let you hear this for a half a second. That'll wipe the mics out for a bit. Whee! Roller coaster ride. That's Washington on the other side there. Look at the seagulls just kind of soaring along with us here. Is that wicked cool or what? Look at the old coastal church there. Oh, that's awesome. Check it out. A tunnel. We got a rip bomb. Here it goes. Here it comes. Rip bomb. Oh. oh, well, not on the Harley. Can't do that. <laughs> Fort Columbia State Park. Stuff. Ah, there's the old Discover Pass. We got one of those now. Yeah. <laughs> Look at these military barracks. And uh, yeah, Kelly, there's you can rent and stay in rooms here. That's the Columbia out there. Look at all this, man. This looks like a huge deal at one point. Look at these big old trees out here. Oh no, Mama, we're gonna fall off the face of the earth. <laughs> it's gonna be scary. Park over here on the edge. Hopefully the the barracks underneath this doesn't collapse under 4,500 pounds. I don't uh, think so. I, I don't either. They survived this long. I think they're good. I think so. All right, you wanna walk around? Yeah. Heck yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Those things were made out of of just crazy thick steel and the uh, goal behind that was anything that was that struck them would hopefully bounce off but these had big old guns I don't know if these were the ones that lifted up and retracted or not but there and there were these big guns that rotated around as well those were gun turrets down in those three installations there too. That's a whole lot of metal right there. Look how thick that thing is. <laughs> That's impressive. The size of that barrel. Man. That's quite the breach right there. That thing lobbed off quite a shell, didn't it? That's wild. Imagine this big old thing. And then the whole turret turning underneath you. That'd be scary. Did that thing recoil back? Oh man, yeah. Big old recoil. Yeah. Blam. Stairway going down. Seems like we used to be able to walk down there. Cause I know we walked down there. Yeah. These are all these little munitions rooms down there. I guess that's how you do it. Yeah, this thing's crazy, huh? <laughs> Look how rusted out that door is. A lot of years of... <laughs> I'm like, where did that come from? <laughs> we just been had. That was pretty good. She got us pretty good with that one. But these is where they, where they carry the, the heavy munitions. The railway from the ceiling. And look how the good old wood doesn't, doesn't rust. He's looking a little rough though.
All kinds of little rooms in here. Oh, that goes into one of the batteries. Oh, it's all swole up and actually it looks like the ceiling has sunk onto it. I don't have my flashlight with me. Oh, it's just another one of them small rooms. Let's go check this out. This one you got chained if you were back. <laughs> <laughs> It's <laughs> uh, <laughs> where they pull one up and bring it out. That must be the call box where he asked for for more munitions. kind of big old gun used to sit there at one point oh that drops down into another little area Whew, that's a long ways down oh there's these little rooms down in here as well Down there, woman. Investigate. Checking stuff out. Oh, what the heck? There's another room. This is actually a Fort or Battery Crenshaw that was constructed in 1900 and was used for 20 years. Here's one of the guns. Here, I'll zoom back. I don't know if you guys can see that, or not, but you can read it yourself. And then that explains what was down there that we're looking at. And that's for this one right here. Wow, that one's old. Yeah, that one's really old. And this is the back side of that clump that we parked on up there. Here's another one of those guns. Where we're standing was the guard house. Guard mount? Yeah, 1903. 1903. The boys were standing right there in that picture. 1903. Look, it's the old glass. See how it's all wavy? Anyway, restroom time. It is now a public restroom. <laughs> That's a crazy hill to drive a car down. Right there. Straight out, that's the Pacific. So we're in Long Beach, Washington. Washington. That silver horse. We're at Marsh's Free Museum. We're on the back side of it. I brought you guys here about four years ago on the iron right after I got it. It was like one of my first summer rides I drove out here. Kelly and I used to come out here all the time when we were kids. Road motorcycles out here. That old CB750F, the old CX500, the old KZ900, the old BMW. What was that thing? R7 slash 6, something like that. I don't remember what it was. And the old Goldwing that was standard, GL1000. We were always coming out here. Cool stuff, huh? Something yeah. cool stuff in here. That's a pretty creepy thing to walk in on, huh? This place is packed with all kinds of amazing stuff. Scary. Oh no, look out for the hawk. Ma'am, miss, ma'am. There's a Harley uh, beer collection. That's cool. That's a little one. Kelly says that's what she looks like when she's having a really bad morning. Yes. <laughs> 
Man, you could spend all day in that store and not see everything that's in there. There's a big old gorilla out here. It's Bigfoot. Oh my lord. How many of you guys remember the old bumper cars? Look at that, it even looks like an old bumper car place. That's old. Good old Ferris wheel. This is cool. This is just like a series of really old carnival rides that are just being repurposed out here. I love how coastal towns, everything's made out of cedar shingles. You know what's that? It's just durable as all heck. Survives the, the salt water. Well, we didn't get to test the, uh, the sand mode on the ridge line. Yep, gotta wait till after Labor Day. Maybe we'll come back. We were doing clam digging. Yep, if we we're clam digging, we'd be golden. Yeah. But this is the Pacific Ocean. Well, the Long Beach part of it, anyway. And that's where we came from, is over there by them buildings. That's a long walk in that soft sand. I mean, it's really soft. See, the sands here in the northwest are kind of a gray to almost black look. I grew up, you know, on the East Coast and then the Gulf Coast and sand was like bleach white. Great big old monster surfs. This is some kind of pretty out here though. My battery's about to run out. So I think it's about all the recording I'm gonna get and I'm gonna have to swap out a battery. I wasn't smart enough to check that before I left. But look at that. We had a failed attempt a couple weeks ago. Now we made it out here. Look at that cedar driftwood. Beautiful. I'm guessing it's probably about 65 or so out here. It's very comfortable. That must be the clam diggers down here because the clam diggers can drive along the beach. Should have wore your coat, huh? All right, Mama. You want to go get something to eat? Yeah. I'm hungry. Yeah. The yep, the water's going to end up coming and getting us. All right. We're bouncing. Got to be safe out there. can't believe this thing's still recording. That battery's been showing red for a, for a bit. Well, Mama about the last of the coast we're gonna see this go round. Yep. We'll see the Columbia a lot. Look, that looks like an old schooner out there. Look at that boat way out there. <clears throat> Once again, can't do the rip bomb because I don't have my hole with me, Mom. You don't have your little rip. No. Plus my the one I'd probably be riding is a street glide and she ain't loud enough to make a rip bomb. Yeah. I like it that way. Look at the old Astoria Bridge way out there. That's cool. Wicked cool. Look at this, you can get the column. If you can make that out on the top of the hill there. And the Astoria Bridge all in one shot. We're gonna say goodbye to Oregon. We'll see her from afar looking across the river on the way home, but we're taking the Washington side back different, more country. Steep boat slew ahead. Look at the eagle's nest. Or is that osprey? And there's birds up there. Is that eagles or ospreys? Uh, osprey. Built a big old nest on that bridge. That's way cool. Fisherman head back home. Look at the sunflower seeds. So we made it down the Columbia, up and over the mountain, and right ahead of us is Castle Rock Racetrack. That's the barn. We drove you, took the loop, and they said that's where they're having the bands and all that stuff. Dirt quake. Dirt quake, yeah. 
laps right there. It's really weird. This Texaco station is just like shut up, locked up. <laughs> Some notice on the door. Maybe they didn't comply to something, huh? <laughs> anyway, the little woman had to have a puff, so we stopped. We're like 12 minutes from home. I gotta stop. Well, hello there, YouTube. We just got back. It's 8.30, about 8.28. And, uh, man, these days are getting shorter. That's not yeah. cool. But, uh, anyway, long day. Lots of recording. Lots of driving. And a very fun, very relaxing. And I hope whatever I can build out of this video comes out good. And see that we had a good time. It was fun. Yeah. We're actually time. able to park at the beach and go walk to the beach. And yeah. Anyway, very fun day. Um, we haven't been out to that Marsh's museum thing in quite some time. Long time. And what's cool, we were just talking about that, is, you know, how everything, everything changes. And you go inside there, and that place is just like it was Oh yeah. 30 plus years ago. It's crazy. Just exactly. I mean, there's, you know, a few things added here and there, but... That's and, wild. Yeah, for the most part, yeah. it's exactly the same. But anyway, that was very fun. Coming down to Washington side, coming back was very nice and relaxing. She slept half the way. Yeah. And I was like, recorded out, so I, I didn't record a lot of that. So, very beautiful coming back on the Washington side. That sunset behind us. Mm. Yeah, that was nice. Yeah. Anyway, we're going to cut this one short and roll out. And I'm going to spend till all hours of the morning figuring out what kind of vlog I can build here. <laughs> cut <the> <laughs> Thank you guys very, very much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give her a thumbs up. And you guys have a wonderful Tuesday Heck or yeah. Wednesday. I don't think we're going to go on any all day long road trip again tomorrow. No, maybe I think we'll, we'll just goof around on a motorcycle and go putt around somewhere and just find something local to goof around on, play around. There we go. Do, do a little relaxing. Yeah. I mean, that is that is fun and relaxing going to do that, but that's a lot of driving. Good yeah. Lord. Yeah, that's a long drive. Yeah, yeah I'm a thousand miles from the first service. Sorry, already a thousand yeah. miles. I got to do the first oil change on it and rotate tires and all that kind of crap. Yeah. So, yeah, we're racking up miles on that thing like crazy, especially the last two days. Yeah. But anyway. to go for a bike ride. Yep. Let's wear some tires out on a motorcycle. All right. Sounds good. <laughs> or a spider. Yeah. All right. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you guys very, very much. You guys have a wonderful day. You guys take care. But we'll see you in the morning. Yeah. You guys right. have a good night. See you in the morning. <laughs> Sleep tight. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye now. Bye.